Shalom, my good black Israelite brothers and sisters. How y'all doing today? Before I start this video off, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to our Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So, um, in, in, this, in this video, this lesson, um, we're just going to talk about Esau, you know, and how we're going to talk about the blacks, these coons <laughs> also, but just Esau and how like nobody knows Esau more than Esau and black people here in Babylon think that they're free and think that um, they have uh, gotten, um, you know, liberation somehow. And they don't overstand how uh, ignorant that sounds. You know, we, we talk about uh, Abraham Lincoln and, and how, you know, because at first they said he freed the slaves and he got all this false credit. And then... <laughs> Now we start doing research and start reading just like when we start reading the Bible and start getting our proper knowledge. We see that he didn't uh, free the slaves and the Civil War wasn't about black people. I mean, it was about black people, but trying to continue to oppress them and uh, just being sold to other states. Uh, it was a fight between um, white people, you know, the, the so-called government. The, uh, in the South, it had nothing to do with black people, just like now. It, it, this, it, everything that's going on has nothing to do with black people. Nobody ever cared about black people. Nobody ever had their best interests uh, in black people or for black people. You say that all whites are racist. Can you ex expound on that, please? Any, any white person who was born, raised, and schooled in the United States of America, if you aren't a racist, you're a miracle. Either that or you decided to educate yourself because education in this country is about white is right, brown's all right, black's got to stand back. Yellow's mellow, but whites, we, we educate in a way that says that white males have done all the adventures, have made all the adventures, have done all the discovering, have made all, and everything that is good and has been accomplished has been accomplished according to social studies, which is actually anti-social studies, by white males. It's a lie. But we do that in order to maintain the myth of white superiority. The myth of race has to be maintained at all costs in this country. Because if white people have to give up the color of their skin as being something that makes them perfect, what do they have left? Um, that's why I get so upset when I see black people uh, care about everybody but their own, uh, their own race. Um, I get very upset. Uh, and, you know, hearing these, these, these other European whites tell the truth, right, I have to commend them for telling the truth the untold story of American white supremacy. I mean, I, I just I just read about the Indian land grab and I'm like, my gosh, man, good Lord. No wonder we don't want to teach the truth. No wonder we don't want to teach the truth because that means we've got to look people in the face and say our forefathers were the worst people in the history of mankind. The things that they did, that manifest destiny, that kind of mentality has been atrocious. What we have done, what we have done to the African-Americans. They know that uh, this land belongs to us. The greatest land giveaway to the whites. Once Europe discovered the new world and violently subdued, forcibly removed, and outright murdered the Indians, a system had to be set up to induce white people to populate and work the new land. The real truth is that European immigration had nothing to do with seeking religious liberty. It had to do with the head right system, which gave large tracts of land to anyone willing to cross the Atlantic Ocean to help settle the colonies. An average, on average, a person would be given 50 to 100 acres of land. White landowners would get another 50 acres for each enslaved man, which increased the want for slaves while enriching whites with free land and free labor. Now listen up. 
The white folks that got the land could sell, lease, subdivide, and bequeath the land to their next generation. Remember when I spoke about the landowners getting additional land for slaves? In 2017, it was decided that blacks have a perfect right, even a responsibility, to claim that land and its current value. For instance, the value of the land in Virginia today is worth $21,921 per acre. Today, 50 acres is worth $1,096,050. This means that if the forcibly imported Africans were to receive their head rights like the white Europeans did, the 625 million acres of land today would be worth $13.7 trillion. A recent study estimates that the combined value of all of the land in the contiguous United States is worth $23 trillion. This means that blacks would now own more than half of America. They, they know that white people have this envy for us, this strong hatred for us. They know that. They know that... Um, you know, they have to uh, let us go, just like in uh, Egypt, um, when uh, Pharisees, what, what, what was it, Ramses? Ramses was supposed to let us go and was given ample opportunity. It's the same thing that's happening now. Uh, even, you know, w with the Asians, you know, they never liked us either. So when you read the Talmud, that is the the Bible, so-called Bible for the Jewish man, which is like, you know, rhetoric. Uh, it says in there that we are uh, an evil people, right? And the Mormons, that their book, what what do they, what, what's their book called? I know, you know, I know they got their little, their Mormon Bible. Um, they say that we're evil too. They say that the, the, the black the book of mormons yeah something like that yeah they say that we're evil in their book you know they say black people are cursed you know and asians you know you know the the, the chinamen um what we call them the moabites mm -hmm. you know they uh they said that we are cursed also so you know this is crazy so the asians they said that we are cursed they said you know black people are cursed the mormons said we're cursed the jewish men said we we're we're cursed even our own brothers and sisters say that about us you know uh in the south they say uh the darker the, the skin the deeper the sin you know like look at how we've been treated this whole time they socially engineered us to think that we are a cursed people like in a sense of like the devil right now the bible when we read the scriptures uh john eight forty four, it said ye are of your father the devil now when you read the bible my father is not the devil my forefathers <laughs> is abraham isaac and jacob i come from the lineage of uh Yahawashai, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. That's where we come from, the so-called black man, brown man. So my father is not the devil. Um Esau father is the devil. Um if you go to uh Hebrews what is it uh 12 and 16 yeah, you want to snatch that for me, mama? If you go to Hebrews, I believe it's 12 and 16. It, it, it tells you about Esau and um, him being a profane person, you know? Not Jacob, <laughs> Esau. Um, so when we, when we look at the world and we see that nothing is for us, you know, what do we do now? Like... They killed all our leaders, you know, our political leaders. They killed them. And they're still perpetuating the hatred. These cops, they're uh, handcuffing us and beating us. I just had to take a shit, bro. I swear to God. Just bro. take the f strings down. I just need to take a shit. That's all bro, she was going to do. All I need, bro, you know, I don't give y'all problems like that, bro. I do not give you problems like that, bro. I'm going to take a all you had to do was take the strings down, dude. I'll take it down next time, bro. Y'all ain't here no problem.
I swear to God, bro, you know second shift, bro. You know I be, I try my hard. Keep me like you need medical. They say, nah, bro, I'm straight. I don't want no medical. You want decon out here? Hey. You know, they're handcuffing us and beating us uh, in prison and out of prison. A police sergeant in Indiana has been charged with two felonies after newly released officer body cam video allegedly shows him stomping on a man's head. We're not going to do this, right? Stop. You're done. You're done. You're done. Eric Huxley, a 14-year veteran of the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police, has been charged with battery with moderate physical injury. You know, and they try to, you know, to take our, our so-called rights away. Now, we know that we are under uh, oppression. You grab that Hebrews. Uh, let me see. Thank you, mama. So, yeah, Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one more so of meat sold his birthright. So uh, he's the profane person, you know, and uh, give me uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10. And you could just read that for me. Yeah, I got my beautiful, beautiful princess, my wife with me. You know, um, so we, we got to realize that, you know, Esau is the enemy, not not the black man. You know, it, it's, it's Esau. Uh, they never cared about us. You know, you got these black people who always want to be under them and always want to get their acceptance. You know, all these NBA players, you know, NFL players and, and, and Kanye and all them, like these rappers and stuff, like they always want to get the approval of the European man, get the approval of the most high. Get the approval of the most high. You got that scripture. You want to read it for me, mama? Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Exactly. So I always tell y'all, like the most high, like everything Esau and these Europeans try to hide, he, he already, he got, it's written, you know, he, Nothing goods come from Esau, nothing. And <laughs> the most high is going to destroy him and his brethren, his neighbor and anything like him. You know, this is why Esau can just can't just be the white man. Esau is all these other nations and he's going to destroy all of them. You know, they can't run from it. His seed is spoiled and everything, you know. So when they do try, you know, when they do tell the truth and try to fight that, demon that's inside them i have to commend them for going against their own people it doesn't matter what agenda they have um if they tell the truth and what's going on you got to give them their credit because these people do not care about us they don't care about us and y'all know that y'all know that that's why they treat us the way they treat us when we start anything for ourselves they try to have this uh defense this blocker to deter people away from it, you know, um, black lives matter, white lives matter, you know, uh, stop Asian hate, right? They care more about uh, transgenders and, and, and gay people and all this other made up stuff than they do an actual human. They care about, you know, black human. They care about their dogs more than they do an actual black person. These people don't care. They care about their money. They care about their their uh, their heritage, their people. And I don't knock them for that. That's the real definition of racism is to care about your people. Now, for all you black people who think that, you know, these so-called white people care about you, if they honestly care about you, and my wife, she's been saying this for a long time too. If they honestly care about you, not kneeling and praying and all that other garbage. If they honestly care about you, how I feel is they will go back to Europe. That's how you show that you're a good person. You're an honest person. Give up all your riches. Give up your house. Give up that land. 
uh, give up your position of power uh, and, and uh, go against all these laws and then go back to Europe instead of telling people to go back to their own country and telling people to get back on a boat and go back to Africa. This country and this land does not belong to you. That's why they call themselves citizens. Citizens. It's, they're supposed to be here temporarily, not permanently. That's why they change the wording. That's why they do the things that they do to obtain and keep these lies. If you think about it, right? I was watching uh, some more lies that they tell, but uh, America Book of Secrets. They tell you in that. They tell you how they just lie all the time. They tell you like they're just liars. And even the other Europeans is like, bro, this is not right. Why? Like, why does America have secrets? Right. If you have a constitution, if you have the amendments, you have the right to know. Right. You have the right to know everything. Right. Because you sign paperwork. I ain't sign anything, but you sign paperwork. Y'all go to all these meetings. Y'all go to all these um, city hall meetings and things like that. And they have Area 51, you know. Y'all never been into the uh, 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 Fort Knox where the gold is, which there is no gold. America is broke. They've been broke. <laughs> like America's been broke. They've been indebted. Trillions of dollars. That's why the guy said if he gave the, bro the breakdown, you see how he broke it down and told you 44 trillion Right. That's how much we made them. Forty four trillion dollars. Y'all tell me. And what did y'all get from that? And all these Europeans say, these white Europeans say is my forefathers fought for this land. Well, who were they fighting? They tell us you wasn't enslaved and it didn't affect you. But my forefathers fought for this land. See how they see? They're hypocrites. They're hypocrites. Give me John 844. They're hypocrites. We, we say slavery when 40 acres and a mule and all that. And what they say? Oh, that's old. And it, it didn't affect you. You wasn't enslaved, right? And then they turn around and tell you to remember 9-11. Never forget. Right? Never forget. Forget for, forget our past and what happened to us, but don't forget their past. And they constantly throw it in our face. They constantly throw it in our face. They have a Mount Rushmore full of racist men that nobody talks about. Why is that still up there? Why is that still up there? You know? And we barely could get a statue of any of our uh, black people, leaders and people who have died. They, you know, they tried to do the Black Lives Matter thing. They uh, 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 got rid of that. And then all they trying to get rid of all the statues of these slave owners and people who was whipping us on the back and lynching us. And uh, they making an issue out of that. You know, like Americans, they should not have any statues. There should be nothing of them to remember because it's all wicked. They got this land out of bigotry and wickedness. And you can read that, Mama. Uh, John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. So, he was a murderer from the beginning. Who killed us <laughs> since the beginning? Ye are of your father, the devil, a murderer from the beginning. This is the white European man. You can finish, mama. And abode not in truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Everything in this country, every this whole concept, this whole you know, manipulation to keep black people oppressed is a lie. They lied about everything. They told us Jesus was white. They told us we were evil. They told us they freed us. They told us uh, we would get reparations. They killed off the so-called Indians. 
They did everything that they do. They lie. They lying about vaccines. They lying about, you know, mixing and mingling, talking about we're all one. We're the same and we're all human. And all that is lies, lies, lies. That's why you have all these people passing out. You have all these people dying. I mean to brag. I don't care. But I want you to know double vaxxed booster flu shot. And I'm going to be honest. I have the shingle shot, too. And I still get my period. What? Yes. <laughs> Traveled, went to Mexico twice, did shows, meet and greets, never got COVID. Clearly, Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. <laughs> so nice. So nice. You have all these people stuck with no answers. They ch they're trying to take people uh, uh, First Amendment, Third, Fifth Amendment. Every they're trying to take everybody's rights away, their guns away, their freedom of speech away. Everything that they do, they lie. They hide and they got Area Fifty Ones. You know they got. Uh, 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 secret societies, the Illuminati, you know, uh, the, um, um, what's the other one? Uh, Freemasons, a lot of stupid black people join that garbage. You know, they, everything that they do, they lie. They lie. They, I don't think they've ever told the truth. If y'all look at the statues, right? The Roman statues, they, they blew the nose off us. They took the idea. They tried to take our identity away and then they were placed us with like all these alexanders and all you know these these false kings you know and but they did tell the truth about this <laughs> if you look at the statues all their uh extremities they're small the most high said <laughs> are his people are elongated They're, his people are well and it's just we're yeah we them <laughs> they're not we so they did tell the truth about they can lie about that see because if you see a statue <laughs> yo this is crazy if you see a statue right if i was one of them european women back then right and i seen a statue and he was you know he was packing right on the statue but then you get in the bed with him and he's the same size of an Asian man, it's a problem here. So they had to tell the truth about that part. But see, the Most High got everything covered. He told y'all, we would be packing. You know, that's why they're jealous. That's why, and that and that itself caused a lot of hate. That's why European white men hate us. That's why they don't want us dating their daughters. This is what can happen when an overprotective dad is a police officer. In this disturbing dash cam video, the cop pulls a car over. Inside the vehicle are his daughter and her boyfriend. You're going to jail. For no good reason, he detains the boyfriend. Get Expected out. this. You're going to jail. Get out. Get out. My car. We'll make it up as we go. Yep, he pulled over the young man and ordered him into the police cruiser. You know, we don't have a jungle fever. You know, in the black community, they got a coon, cooning fever, but we don't have a jungle fever. They do. <laughs> them, them European white women, they want us. They dream about us. And it's vice versa. Them white European men, they want the sister too. You know, they want the sister too, but they ain't make no statues of, you know, no... um European women, the way they do these these uh, European men, you know, they just always lying. I can't think of anything they told the truth about. They not the real Jews. That's why they're Jewish people. Ish, I S H. You know, that's the suffix for something like. You're nothing like me. You're nothing like me. Your hair is not woolly. Your skin is not brass, burning brass. 
You don't have nothing. Like, you're not big, tall. Your voice is not of many waters, nothing. They lied about that. They said they come from Jacob. Jacob was a black man. Yahawashah come from that lineage. You go to Matthews 1 and 1, and then you go to Revelations 1 and 14. They give you the whole description of Christ, the one they supposedly follow. This is crazy. Y'all have to start telling the truth. Stop lying so much. You know, stop lying so much. We didn't do anything to the Asians. They trying to stop the Asian hate. Who hate the Asians? They hate us. They've been hating us since day one. Y'all better go back and look at their movies. Y'all better go look at their movies. They never liked us. They the ones that started this blackface too. Y'all forgot? Yeah, I'm not letting... This year is... Yeah, I'm not letting them get away with nothing, man. Nothing. Just lying. Karens, they lie. They lie, these cops, they lie. They just lie. These institutions are put here to oppress us and all they do is lie. One minute we'll go in and try to get a loan for a house or a business. They'll say they can't fund us. Our credit is low and whoopty whoop. The same European white man or the Indian man from India, when they are Asian man, they go in there, they get loans or whatever, then it's all good. We've witnessed that personally. We had a relative try to get, you know, a loan and try to, for a car or something, didn't have it, or, you know, some excuse. Same credit, same everything. His white uh, girlfriend goes in and comes out with a, 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 a car. Two. You know? So they're, they're a witness to it. This, these are witnesses. Like, they know. That's why you have to commend the white people for for <sighs> trying to fight the demon because the truth is not in them, but they see the wickedness, though. They're just expressing and exposing the wickedness. The truth, the only, the only truth is for them to go back to Europe and give up the land that they stole. How are you going to lock me up and my people up for a land that's not even yours? How are you going to lock me up and my people up for uh, uh, killing someone when y'all killed us. How you gonna lock my people up for trespassing when y'all trespassed first? How you gonna lock my people up for kidnapping when y'all kidnapped us first? How you gonna lock my people up for so-called tax evasion, so-called... Uh, uh, tampering with evidence, so-called uh, 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 perjuring and all this stuff that they say we do in the court of law and the system and, and y'all did it first. Y'all tampered with evidence, the Bible. Y'all perjured yourself, Jewish people in the Pope. Y'all lied. We didn't. So black people, man, y'all, so-called black people, y'all got to get it together. And they call us black. We ain't black. We are brown people. We're, we're colored. My wife, she's lighter than me. I have no people who, who is darker than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Talking about black. We ain't black. I've been saying that for you. We're not black. You know, this is black. My, I'm not black. You know, it's a reference. But then they say black is evil. But then white is pure. Because in the Bible, it talks about the dove and it talks about, you know, white as snow. And they call themselves white. Y'all not white? Y'all are Caucasians. Yeah. <laughs> Even my little baby girl laughing at y'all. Y'all Caucasians. Y'all come from the Caucasus Islands. Y'all are Edomites from Edom. That's your lineage. That's your people. Own it. Own it. Now, every every uh, so-called white person uh, is not a liar because, see, look, every black person doesn't tell the truth. So-called black person does not tell the truth, and they're not honest. 
and they do wicked stuff. But when the most high, he said, just as a nation, Esau is wicked, you know, and as a nation, we are the righteous people, you know, y'all just got to remember that y'all wake up, stop dating they women, stop getting them pregnant and stuff. And, uh, yeah, my wife was, she was telling me with the sperm bank, like these European women, specific single ones, right? Go to the sperm bank to get a uh, uh, semen for black men. You know, to have black babies. What we doing here? You know? And y'all want to date them. You know, and the sisters, y'all just, the ones that be dating these European white men, y'all just a let down to. Y'all don't know that y'all are perpetuating his evilness because y'all are giving him the right to implant his seed in you to to continue the the, the, the wickedness. That's a devil. Period. Period. The honest, the honest white people are in Europe. You know, Russia. Them the honest white people. They over there with their own. They doing their own thing. And people mad at that. Try to talk about Hitler. Yeah, I'm going in on this video. Try to talk about Hitler. Hitler wasn't racist. Hitler wasn't racist. He believed the same thing I believe. What are y'all talking about? He read the Bible. He knew that he knew the Jews, them Jewish men was fake. He knew they was perpetrating. You know, he knew that. And now they try to make him to be the bad one. Because Hitler, he he had his regime. He was he was coming for them. And all he was saying was like, we need to get back over here where our people and start our little, you know. Try to build our little kingdom. We don't need to be all in Africa. We don't need to be all in America and messing with the so-called Indians, which were black people, so-called black people. We don't need to be doing all that. And they hated that. Then got him, got his people to turn on him and then try to paint it to these black Americans, because that's what matters, that Hitler was racist. Hitler was racist, the Nazis, and all that garbage. No, he wasn't. He just didn't like y'all. He was exposing y'all for being the liars that you are. You know, they was over there, them Asians. Wasn't it the uh, the uh, the Asians uh, trying to procreate with the Africans? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Come. On. I don't. I don't like that. Now look at. Now look at. That's crazy. Now look at China. China, you know, is in half. Uh, bought and and have the rights to Africa, Jamaica, and that whole little pan what they call themselves. They just call themselves Africa. All them pan African people. Where y'all at now? All Asians are all the Chinese men doing is the same thing that the European men did to us without war. See, like the art of war. You see how they, it can, it so called comes from them. That came from us. But the art of war, these Chinese people, they thinking. I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at the Chinese people for doing what they doing. Nobody's seeing it, though. America is indebted to a country and a people that just got the rights to Africa and Jamaica. Y'all not thinking? Now, the same people that called you evil, they they technically own you. Africans, <laughs> huh? What happened? And then they going to paint that up. They going to fix Africa. I believe that they going to so-called fix, fix Africa. And they going to uh, so-called help the, uh, you know, Jamaica and all the other so-called black countries and villages and stuff like that. And then the ignorant black people over here they're going to think that it's good and it's better and it's oh see we should go back to africa and da, 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 and then go entrap themselves again because that's not our homeland america's finished i told y'all that america's finished their, their money is an illusion i've been saying that for the past 10 years and literally american the american dollar is not backed by anything you know, they don't have enough gold. They don't have enough funding. They they messed up their treaties. You know, now the uh, 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 China is, is being smart. 
now China is being smart. The only thing keeping America afloat is uh, the Romans. So they bet not mess that, mess that up. That's why they're trying to keep everything secret. Because if everybody knew what America is and, and, and what it really stands for, they would go into a frenzy. It would be anarchy if they really knew. If they really knew. It's all been a lie. The black, so-called black man, woman, and child is the, the, the child and the children and the seed of the most high God in Yahweh Shah. Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. We are the chosen children. We are the ones that went into slavery. We are the ones that's oppressed for 400 years. We are the one that's that have to deal with these curses. We are the one being lynched. We are the one chain gang, prisons. You know, we, we built this country, literally. Our ancestors built it off our backs. And off there is our backs because we're still perpetuating it by going to these racist institutions. We have to build ourselves. And I decided to talk a little bit longer in this video because I want our people to see these things and know these things. Like, I'm not, I am not going to lie to you. They have lied to you. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm not going to sugarcoat things just to make people happy. I don't care what celebrity you are. I don't care what you do. I don't care how much money you got. I, I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. Because money is just a figma of your imagination. It's not real. They told you that the money is real. They told you that these dead presidents, you know, hold value. It doesn't. It's all to do with trading and working with other countries. And that's why America is poor and broke right now. They don't have nothing to stand on. These, it's y'all gonna see. They didn't stole stuff from other countries. They not, you know, they talking about they got all this extraterrestrial uh, equipment and aliens and all this other stuff and you know just just weird and lying. Satan is running rampant. He is he is here. You know the devil is here. And our and our King, our Lord, is coming to save us. Period. Don't believe him, man. Um, but if y'all enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on my other channel. Um, do a lot of teaching there. Um, and y'all make sure. Y'all keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and obeying our Father and waiting on Yahweh Shai's return, glorious return, because it is going to be glorious. And uh, y'all stay strong, be healthy, and I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. This is Alpha Hebrew. I'm out. Peace.